Punch Bare Knuckle. One of the newer lines from a very, very classic manufacturer. Welcome to the Cigar Vlog. I am uh, me. <laughs> yeah, as if you couldn't tell. And uh, this here is one of my newest acquisitions. Believe it or not, I have actually not stopped doing these. I just uh, didn't have anything to review for a while. So, this is a 6 inch by 50 turtle size. Got a nice clean wrapper, nice tight seams, all the lines are good. You know, not a whole lot of huge veins or anything like that. I went ahead and took the liberty of punching, uh, pun, punching the, uh, the head here instead of just cutting it because I actually don't have a problem with that. Already, Punch Bare Knuckle is a bit of a departure from tradition in the fact that it's got this very large foot band, which is like the size of a normal band, but instead of being up here where it's supposed to be, it's, well, down there. So, this may or may not be a good idea. It's about 8 o'clock in the evening right now, and I'm kind of losing the light, so hopefully it will not get ass-breakingly cold. And so dark I can't see anything. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this lit up. Uh, first things first, though, a quick note about the actual aromas off of this thing. Right when you pull it out of the humidor, the first note that you get off of the foot is a light cedar. And I don't know if it's just how my humidor is set up, but I had like a very lightly sweet, almost floral note coming off the body. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cigar cut and lit. Well, it's already cut, duh. And of course, it never fails. I go to actually have it focus. What does it focus on? Not the cigar, but the ground behind it. Thank you, camera. Well, I'm going to get this lit up and uh, tell you exactly what's going on. Okay, so, here's profile, right off the foot, kind of traditional punch, a little sweet, a little cinnamony, almost a little bit of the cocoa note, this is kind of weird, and it's kind of, oddly enough, not quite the same as the first one I had, that I had, hopefully my hair doesn't look like a complete mess, but, uh, it's an alright, let's go ahead and actually focus on something that's a little bit, uh, more interesting than the defense, or rod iron, whatever the hell that is, okay, so, uh, yeah, this is Punch Bare Knuckle, and this is one of their newer lines. Uh, one of the whole things about this is it's kind of a break from the traditional flavor profile that you typically find on the punch. Most of the time, punch is usually going to have kind of a sweet, spicy, cedar thing. This one so far, though, it's almost a cinnamon cocoa with kind of an earthy tobacco. That's just straight off the foot. Hopefully, by the time the first inch goes down, that should change. I'm going to go ahead and get marching, and uh, hopefully, I'm there with some lights. So getting down about the one inch point here. The flavors have kind of gotten a little full. Kind of muted. Uh, just already even in the first inch, kind of stepping away from the traditional punch flavor profile. And uh, still slightly sweet. Make sure nobody's following me. <laughs> slightly sweet. Uh, a little bit of a kind of creaminess to it, as in like flavor wise. Not necessarily really creamy texture. Yeah, it's good at tune up. So you got a truck. A little overly grr on the engine. But uh, so far, Retro Hill has been kind of a spicy cinnamon, oddly enough. And so far, the uh, flavor I'm getting off of it now is kind of just this kind of almost floral kind of creaminess to it. Kind of get all around her, just kind of not really in the way. Kind of really sweet, very subtle, very light. How bad? If I keep smoking this down, get back to you about the halfway point, it should be over about here. And uh, hopefully, I'll still have enough light to actually film. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell from the uh, roar of the engines in the background, but it is starting to sound very, very swampish out here. Here's why I kind of wish it was a little warmer. I'm kind of noticing a slight nose uh, difference when it comes to the retro hill. I'm noticing a slight, um, almost a cocoa note. I'd say I'm nowhere near the halfway point, as you can see. But uh, I just figured I'd give a little bit of an update because one, I'm getting bored as hell. That's one of the problems with longer cigars. On a cold night, is you tend to be out here for a little while. Or you could actually just actually buy a house and do it in your backyard so we don't have to go wandering around this cold, dank ass swamp. 
because the housing or apartment complex in Lincoln has a smoking rule that nobody freaking follows but me. Yay! I just love being a good boy. Okay, anyway, grab a side. Whew. It is getting noticeably dark. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to keep uh, filming here. Uh, if you probably saw me turn around, but they finally put some lights in the tunnel that I'm actually standing in front of. And it kind of doesn't really matter how polite I'm trying to be and not blow smoke down the tube. Where does it go? Straight down. Every time. Why? I don't know. It's, the airflow is kind of weird around here. But anyway, uh, I'm kind of getting a slight off center burn. And I don't know if this is because I just lit it wrong or which is for most likely the case because I kind of have to half ass me matches. Loud motorcycle. But uh, it seems to kind of want to. It's like it's not trying to really get like tunnel or anything weird, uh, but it is definitely taking a slightly odd turn. So I'm going to keep an eye on this uh, burn line here, and hopefully uh, everything will end up uh, either autocorrecting or only require a moderate touch-up. And hopefully my lead butane lighter will actually work instead of being the overpriced piece of shit, and it is. I have never once managed to get that thing to a lively function. Anyway, hopefully I'll get back to you at the actual halfway point. A little bit less traffic in the background. Okay, I think I have enough light. The uh, ash just flopped off about the halfway point. I haven't said anything about the wrapper of the cigar up to this point, largely due to the fact that I don't think they actually make the punch bare knuckle in basically any more than one flavor. It's a punch bare knuckle, and that's pretty much it. I think it's a Habano wrap. <laughs> wrapper, for my voice will keep talking. I, mean, I think it's a Habano wrapper, and these are not really known for being, well, the most flavorful. I mean, they're very mellow, very light, uh, kind of reminiscent of what you would find in like your typical, I want to say, Cuban uh, flavor profile. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely positive. I've only had a few Habano wrappers, and sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're just kind of bland. But for overall, I'm noticing more of a cocoa note in the nose for the retrohale, and that's where I'm getting most of the flavor from. The actual smoke itself in the mouth is just really leaving a lot to be desired. As in, like, there's just not a whole lot of flavor at all. So, anyway, I did one little slight touch up here. So far, it's been burning relatively well. I'm gonna go ahead and keep an eye out, get back to you about where the normal band will be about here. I'll also try and, I'll also try and wrap this up because there's a guy over there and I think he's looking at me. Anyway, get back to you next time. After, uh, Back to get the band, whatever. Okie doke. Uh, getting over to about the halfway point, or actually not the halfway point of the band. Uh, past the halfway point, flavors started getting kind of like a sweet cedar. I'm trying to be a little quiet because everybody's kind of winding down for the night. But uh, yeah. This is probably the blandest punch cigar I've ever had. <coughs> so far, the flavors are starting to get a little hot, a little washed out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep smoking it down and find out if it actually. Maintains any level of flavor if it just washes out. I'm not expecting a whole lot else out of this other than just maybe you know, about 20 more minutes. But other than that, uh, so far, basic impressions starts off kind of traditional, then mellows out to creamy. Get this weird thing where the nose is more prevalent in the mouth, which means the actual flavor you get off the smoke in your mouth is second fiddle to the flavors you get in your, in your retrohale, which is weird. It kind of reminds me of the H.C. Maduro in that regard. But anyway, I'm going to keep going, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, this is going to be a final update for this one. Get it done buttoned up here. So far, the flavors are just kind of washing out, turning into just hot tobacco. So, there's really not going to be much else to this. Well, I'm just moving down the towards the evening club. The punch may not tend to be. I'm going to go ahead and get my money's worth out of it. And in the car. Anyway. So it's a little cigar for just kind of lazy days, afternoons, you know, a little long, whatever. Nice little departure from your standard punch. And... Nice little Toyota truck says yo on the back. Tacky. Anyway, uh, that goofball is gone. I can actually go get a proper finish on this. My overall impression of this is... Kind of a boring cigar, really. Uh, keep in mind, I'm one of those guys I like, you know, big hearty flavors. You know, like I like Maduros because they taste strongly of uh, usually very, very nice things. I like acid cigars because they're flavored uh, very, very well over each 
It was a little confusion. But uh, metal or blends like this, typically not a my alley. If you don't have a problem with uh, metal cigars, if you like metal cigars, but otherwise they just, then yeah, this would be totally perfect. I mean, I can definitely see wasting my afternoon with these. Uh, or, you know, just smoking one of these while doing something else. Definitely high quality. Uh, excellent construction so far. The only real touch by having uh, because I kind of wore it light. Other than that, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the little bell on my new channel so you can get an update for when I actually do post something. I may branch off into other things like some kind of high quality micro booze. Here comes another big truck. And you'd think that once it gets dark, everybody would act like the birds and go to bed. Anyway, yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Apparently YouTube changed how they actually do algorithms and uh, they actually promote videos. So now it goes by traffic. So, yeah, leave me a comment. Even if it's just, you know, hi. At this point, I'll take anything you can use to like, kill yourself. I'll probably get a lot of that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I'll go ahead and see you next time.